Hello everybody, welcome to the first quarterfinal of the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice. We've got, as you can see here, Eliod and his da two and a half million Dark Elves versus Krupi and his 2.17 million Orc team. So what's that? Uh, 365 in inducements. So not enough for Morg. Not that Morg is that good versus... Uh, Elves, anyway. 365, I guess you'll get like a wizard and two bribes or something. We shall see. Maybe even an extra reroll, right? That, that could be okay, but probably two bribes, I guess, and just foul him to absolute death. Seems a good idea, seems a way to win. They have not put spectator mode in Blood Bowl 3, no Ripper Dock. Um, so there is no spectator mode. This is done entirely well. There's and there's also no way to run tournaments, so um, this is all done through friendlies. They they've organised the games through friendlies, and then casting it is by restreaming the streams. So I'm restreaming Elliot here. Um, I shall put the link in the description. And uh, yeah, so it's unfortunate you know can't have the like it's kind of sucks to you know reuse their stuff oh my god look at that Elliot's got three dirty players Snicky gets and one two three four guard <laughs> so pretty whoa, rowdy team uh, loads of guard mighty blow a bit of dodge a bit of defensive bit of stand firm pretty pretty cool team for creepy No, of course, of course they haven't, Ripper Dog. That's scheduled for, like, um, August or something. Um, reconnecting. Reconnecting to games and uh, having replay mode is scheduled for August. And that's only scheduled, right? There's no, there's no, no reason to believe they will, you know, deliver on any of their promises. Seeing as they have delivered on none of their promises so far, <laughs> so you know there there is that, isn't there? You know that's the thing. People people called me negative and pessimistic, and but it's not right. When all the evidence is they failed at every turn, <laughs> what, how can you not expect that to continue? <laughs> That's the default. It's you know, it's not, it's not pessimistic, is it? That, that, you know, it is what it is. This is a, this is actually a pretty nice old team, um, and he does have two bribes. I don't know if he's got a wizard or not. I don't know how the wizard's displayed or if it's displayed at all on the on this over screen here, but I think he should have got a wizard. Or oh, maybe got a biased ref. Oh, do you know what? He'll have got a biased ref, right? Biased ref's really good. You'll have got a biased ref. Um, so the biased ref means that you can every time your opponent fouls, you, or you can roll the dice on a five plus. They get sent off, and also it means when you argue the call, you get to add one. So you, your argue the calls will succeed on a five or a six, and you will never get sent off. However, however, um, that's not implemented correctly in Blood Bowl 3. So you can get sent off when you argue the call. And also, I believe that if you roll a 6 on the argue the call, it adds 1 and gets 7. So therefore it is not, um, you know, this, the argue the call doesn't succeed. So it's actually terrible for your own arguing the call. It does not work properly at all, um, the biased ref for arguing the call. But, you know, getting Elliot sent off on a 5 plus every foul he makes is, is too good to not take, isn't it? Better, more impactful than the wizard really because... If he didn't take the biased ref, um, Elliot would just tear through his team with all of the sneaky get dirty players, which is pretty stupid. Indeed, Ripper Doc. Hello, Dirty Raxo. Hello, White Wolf. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, he's the Blood Bowl Three community manager has made about two months and two posts in the last four months. Pretty amazing. What a legend. Yeah, so Elliot Elliot uses the side on view, and I always thought this would be quite good for watching the games, you know, casting them. Maybe, maybe not playing, but but for casting, I thought this was a pretty cool view. I would maybe have it a bit more zoomed in. 
and maybe a bit lower to the ground or maybe a bit higher I don't know but uh, maybe this angle's perfect but just maybe it's a bit more zoomed in uh, no, you know he doesn't have a it, it, Elliot's face is pure surprise here it looks like he doesn't have a biased ref no idea what inducements he's got Maybe he's got a he's got a keg, and maybe a prayer a nuffle or something. Wow! Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy that he didn't get the uh, biased ref. Hello, Pugly. Yep, this is the we're at the quarterfinal stage now, the final eight. Which orcs, which, yeah, I mean, there's just a sea of, of you don't have to know which one's which, do you? Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I guess that's the thing with uh, with this view. The skills go on to the next guy and obscure the players, don't they? Whereas if you're straight on, they generally don't. Um, but, yeah, that you don't really need to know, right? They're, they've all got guard. They've all got block. Um, some of them have mighty blow. Some have stand firm. Some have dodge. One has defensive. He will definitely. I mean, he should knack the second half here. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he definitely will, but one would imagine he would. It's a pretty rowdy orc team, uh, and dackering is a pretty good, pretty good tactic. Elliot's a big fan of it. <laughs> Which is also like important. Oh, I don't like this because he's uh, trapping. Like, you know, if it's a push, he's giving away a hit. Oh, but it's so he can get more assists. That's yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Just instantly, the first thing he does is is do a bit of a greedy blitz just for just for the extra assist on the inevitable foul. Instant. Full instant foul. Or an immediate foul if you're nolly. <laughs> I guess I could have referred to my uh, my preview video to see who has stat ups on their players, but uh, I haven't. <laughs> you could, but I haven't. <laughs> so Elliot's having a look now to see if there's any stat ups. Oh, there's a 2 plus um, blitzer there. Two plus. Uh, not really, no dirty rack. So there's, uh, well, I mean, there's a new. So it's weird they call like things seriously hurt and seriously. I, I don't think there's a. I think seriously hurt is like miss next game, and then seriously injured is is a niggle or something. It's flipping stupid, whatever it is. Or maybe seriously injured is the. Uh, is a perm. But what they, so they've got something stupid that's that's hard to uh, say, and then obviously there has to be a new injury because there is the minus passing stat injury, <laughs> which of course nobody will really care about. There's a few niggling injuries on the uh, orc team. They they don't matter though for the for the game, right? For the game, the niggles are completely irrelevant. It it goes on the casualty table, not the injury table. So, they're not a weak link whatsoever. Which is a really good, really good thing, isn't it? A really good thing for uh, not sacking everybody instantly. Got a tackle. I don't know how many tackle he's got. Two, only two tackle, and one of them's exposed now. He has to cover him with the line, though. Oh, he's not covering the line, oh ho ho ho! Oh man. Well, I would not be surprised to see Elliot blitz that blitzer and then gang foul him. Completely give up the drive defensively. Wouldn't be surprised, but also we saw him in the first match, he went in for the ball sack instantly, so, you know, 
maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll go for that. Maybe he'll go for the, some ball. Oh, he's just seen the defensive. Uh oh. Oh, oh, you can see his face. He's like, oh god, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. <laughs> diced, diced by his own stupidity is probably what he's saying. Can't believe how terrible I'm at blood ball. <laughs> ah, but he's gonna he's gonna chain him out by hitting the uh, stand firm guy. Does he have a juggernaut? No. <laughs> oh, he does have a juggernaut. He's got a juggernaut on the witch hole. <laughs> so he can he can juggernaut the uh, the defensive guy. Well, then he doesn't have to because he's done the job, isn't he? Just putting a million a million assists, kind of making the uh, guards kind of useless. Pretty fun. You can't see his face. He's he's face palming. He's face palming, and he's he's showing how sad he is at being dumb. <laughs> I can I can almost hear him just by looking at his face. <laughs> it's safe to say he's not happy with how he's played. <laughs> the defensive guy is is just too good. And this is the thing, though, right? Defensive is just really hard to take normally. That, that's the thing. Um, it's just a really hard skill to take. But obviously, infinite bowl and no, uh, no redrafting or anything has just led to uh, you know huge bloated teams that actually get to take defensive and don't care about the 40 TV because they're 2.5k or whatever. So they, they've got the SPPs for it. And you know, the, without the redraft, they've got nothing to fear. <laughs> Pedro there in chat, rip Paul from S Club, Jimmy will be in bits. It was correct. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Catamol, I even knew his surname. <laughs> Only 46, that's crazy, isn't it? Unbelievable. A lot of space here, and probably a foul on the Witch Elf. He's got a Dirty Player Wrestle, but doesn't have Dirty Player Sneaky Git. A lot of dodge on this team, isn't there? I guess that's kind of like if all there is is bash, it kind of makes sense to give all of you guys dodge. Loads of dodge. And plus it's also guaranteed, isn't it? The thing with Blood Bowl 2 was, you know, if you took some dodge, it made sense to spam dodge on all your doubles. But obviously you couldn't guarantee getting the doubles. Whereas now, you can absolutely guarantee getting the doubles to spam dodge. So it does make it, but it's a lot of TV is uh, is the bad thing. But again, at this point, you know, kind of who cares, right? Once you get to a certain point, TV doesn't really matter so much. But the lack of tackle is, is going to hurt him. All these dodge, if all these dodge guys were tackle guys... Yep, thanks for that, Fluhu Burrito. Um, this is rebroadcasted from Elliot's channel. There'll be a link in the description. And he likes this view, believe it or not. <laughs> Don't say he's wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I thought it'd be quite good to watch from this angle. I'm not sure I'd want to play from this angle, but I thought casting the, uh, you know... When we got the beta, I thought, ooh, this could be a good angle for casting cup games. And then we found out we won't be able to cast games until August at the earliest. <laughs> so that's fun, isn't it? Really fun.
So you can kind of split the team here to an extent. That's pretty interesting. Super interesting. That's also both tacklers, so you can power one and tie the other one up. And get something around them. He's also got the jump up witch elf there, hasn't he? He's, he's got a based cage, obviously really hard to get all the assists in. To make it a great idea. Could definitely see him. Uh, I mean, he still could get all these assists in, I guess. I could definitely blitz that. Uh, this orc here. I just realised this orc is the one to blitz. I think. Elliot's lacking tackle, really, isn't he? I mean, everyone's pretty much lacking tackle because most teams are bash teams. On the ladder. You know, he's thinking about blitzing with a juggernaut, I think. A witch elf. Doesn't go for a rookie blitz. Gets the pal. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. There's not many elves, is there? There's just Elliot and Nick in the uh, top 16 with elves. But, I mean, they are the favourites to get through to the final against each other. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Yes, the, the res does favour them in the cup. But even if there wasn't res, they'd be favourites until the teams were dead. <laughs> But now that they're like they'd be favourites for each individual game until their team was completely beyond beyond salvageable. Whereas now it's guaranteed to never be beyond salvageable because uh it's res. Just wants to make so many rolls this turn, doesn't he? It's uh, pretty annoying for old Eliod. Eating into his time bank up early here. Yeah, putting the guard in there, that makes sense. Oh, he <laughs> double ones. A very dramatic action there. Just it does just goes instantly. No no cutscene or anything, just blah, you failed, your turn's over. Didn't even get the foul. Or jump up his witch. So a bit sad and didn't really intersect the team much either. I don't think he's going to be ecstatic about that turn. You know, not that he played it badly or anything, just not much happened. <laughs> Stan Firm, he, he went random strength skills on, on his blitzers, that was his, that was his, uh, you know, his idea that he ran with. Obviously, kept the stand firm because it's 20 TV, the same as sidestep, and you take sidestep. So, it, stand firm is one that you can take, but obviously, you're trying to get guard on my blow. Mm, interesting, the goblins coming back. Surely has to be aware of that witch elf. Krippy, Krippy's all right, isn't he? I remember, uh, I remember last time he played Eliod. He uh, 
in the cup he uh, he played absolutely terribly <laughs> and basically through um, he hasn't done anything too bad yet apart from leaving this uh, this witch elf opening into the cage on twice in a row <laughs> Which you know it's not it's not terrible, right? Because it's not easy for Eliod to take advantage of. But he could have been a bit safer. I'm sure. Guard on the cage corners in case of uh, any shenanigans. Gets another removal. Eliod will be on the verge of giving up. I'm sure. Uh, Eliod does like to give up on drives and just blitz and foul or lie down depending on if he's got sneaky kit to hurt your player <laughs> oh dear you might still think he's got some kind of chance of cracking this which he does but it's not great four, four removals is probably enough to just try and uh, try and get chips Try and get chips with a sneaky get dirty player. The length you'll go to just to get a just to get a foul in. Tackle Witch there, Rackle Witch ready to blitz the Black Orc and get a big old foul on. Gets the power, four assists. Injured. Lesionado! <laughs> uh, with those teams, J Duckers, it's more about how you don't beat them. <laughs> Le Pau. Interesting size of square. I thought he might have uh, gone back in the middle to uh, stop himself getting fouled, but I guess, I guess he's not scared of the foul here. I'd have thought size up to this square. But I guess this way it does keep a bit of width on the defence. Like Elliot might still be thinking he can get the stop the score here. But yeah, it does encourage the foul. Maybe he wanted to encourage the foul. I didn't like that because if he'd sidestepped here he doesn't get fouled, does he? There you go. the bribe football <laughs> 3 requires too much effort to enjoy isn't that the truth
<laughs> Instantly putting guard in on the defensive player. <laughs> Immediately face palms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. I mean defensive is a good skill. It's just it's just the fact it's like, you know, a double for the most of the people who want it. It's the problem. <laughs> oh, you hadn't realised till now. Now he's realised. <laughs> he, he must have just been scratching his head before, but now, now the face palm comes. <laughs> oh, brilliant. That's a stun with a foul and moves afterwards. It's so good, isn't it? Sneaky gear. Oh my god, it's literally so good. So he's putting two people on the tackler. But I mean... It's not great, is it? Yes, exactly. That's the thing. It's like it's it's a lot of SPP, and it also like because it's generally going to be taken on like you know strength access players, which means they're going to uh, need a lot of SPPs and a lot of it and a lot of. TV. I mean, the main thing is the SPPs more than the TV. But the TV element means you don't really want to get it early. And then the TV means you get it late. And then with redraft, you just really can't get it much. That's why. That's why I wrote it off more than maybe I should. Because you know, this format is not typical of Blood Bowl 2020. Probably not, no. I mean, ball carrier can take blood, shoe, hands, and stamps. Like, it's not terrible. It's it's pretty nice on the uh, Zon ones, right? Zon. The Zon blockers. They start with it, and they can take blood, shoe, hands, and stats. And become, you know, movement 8, strength 5, agility 2 plus, <laughs> absolute monsters. And the only players you redraft. And then just go in with rookie Amazons with a ridiculous monster. For as long as you can. So yeah, redraft does change everything. You know, people say redraft will solve problems. Well, it's not really solving anything. It's it's because it's just making different problems. Oh, Matt. Yeah, not much Elliot can do. I mean, dwarves absolutely crush redraft. It, it, redraft kind of kills the, uh, you know, black orcs and stuff. That's the thing, like things like biggins, right? How do you keep biggins with redraft? You know, it's going to take them so many games to get all these skills. That's why. That's why defensive isn't very realistic skill choice on them. Like, look at, look at the guy with defensive, mighty blow, block, guard. Um, defensive, and then he's taken a random and got pylon, I think. Uh, well, not pylon, pile driver. Uh, whatever the last skill is, I'm sure it'll have been a random. Just, just for something for the tournament. But I mean, that's a lot of SPP to get three primaries and a secondary. And you know, so it's going to take multiple seasons, which means it's going to have the uh, you know the tax to keep him around and stuff. So it's just not not realistic to have multiple skilled. Biggins, whereas it's very realistic to have multiple skill long beards because they just need six SPPs to be finished. 
I mean, expensive mistakes would matter with redraft. Of course it would. If you've got a cap of 1300. I'm okay, thanks, Matt. I mean, the problem is redraft. I don't think redraft makes much difference anyway. It just it just makes different things. I don't think mistake makes much difference. I don't think redraft necessarily works. <laughs> like it just does something. <laughs> Elliot uses his first run of his five re rolls on turn seven. To get an extra assist for a foul. And then run away to safety. Glorious sneaky get dirty player. Interesting Elliot does go dirty player first on all, all three of them. I mean, mistakes aren't or less likely to matter if you're having redraft anyway, right? Because you get into a, you play playing less games. Three dice blitz, lovely. Well done, Krupi. the tuddy. But how much stun firm does he have? Looks like oh yeah he's got three. He's got three stun firm. He has three stun firm. He's not putting on the LOS. Whew. And the thing is, redraft or no redraft, reconnection, expensive mistakes, multiple block, admin tools, none of those things matter if the game isn't fun to play. Uh, not my team, Jay Duckers, it is, uh, it is Elliot's team, but yeah, it's pretty funny. It's a pretty funny icon when zoomed out. I I saw the team name and I looked at the na I looked at the icon in the like you know in the team sheet and was like well this doesn't look nothing like it but yeah when you see it when you see it from a distance <laughs> pretty great Hello Rick Baseman Does Elliot even have dump off here? I don't see it running. Or not nothing. Oh, but it'll be a, it's a, it's on gain skills only, isn't it? So, hmm. Do one of these look like runners? Oh, is it the uh, is it the guy who's going to look and get the ball? Yeah, he's got a cloak by the looks of it. So he's gone dodge block sidestep show hands. Yeah, I guess that's a runner. Quick snap. Look quick snap. 
did he have an unburst character? I mean, it's only it's only Dark Elves, isn't it? So it's not a great one-turn chance, which is a cast. Well, he still no, he still put the three sandfirms on anyway. Okay. God, do you know what? I saw that he started putting the sandfirms not on the OS, and then it just kind of didn't add up that he'd uh, that he changed his mind. Yeah, the Frenzy one turn was pretty great, wasn't it? As much as Artemis will have said it was obvious after it happened. <laughs> um, the first time I saw it like that, I was very impressed. So I think it is still good when people do it. Yeah, there's no... There's no one turn here, is there? Not against three stand firm. Could get two pushes, but couldn't get the third or fourth. Obviously, with quick snap, you only need a one more, but just not possible. Problem with putting these guys on the LOS, the stand firm is means that they will get sneaky, get dirty played. the tackle one which is a great play to foul add two plus as well doesn't even get them. diced it's quite good the uh, pass indicator thing isn't it <laughs> I threw it behind him. <laughs> Wildly inaccurate. <laughs> stupid, stupid passing rules. I'm sure Elliot would never do anything like that, Jilly. I mean, not on purpose. <laughs> Obviously, he could easily crash the game. <laughs> see a Daka. We might not purely because he's got the sneaky get DPs. We might think he can just outbash the Orcs. Which he might. It would have been really funny if that happened. What would be really funny if I got top 16 by only playing Conceit Chicken and then got in the finals and only played Conceit Chicken? <laughs> now that would be something. I really am tempted to... Uh to just stream all day the Conceit Chicken team to publicise it so they'll actually fix it but I mean it hasn't been fixed in 50 days and they fixed the sneaky git one pretty quickly correct Volby yeah. but like Elliot you know I'm sad The reason all of this has happened, isn't it? It's because of Blood Bowl. It's a bit sad that it's come to an end.
what you can do is fault you can like at any time either player can like lock up the game basically so it's just concede che who concedes first losers you both sit there unable to do anything leave your computer on exactly lord yeah I mean I'm not that's what I'm saying I'm not saying how to do it <laughs> but it's kind of tempting to say it just to ensure that they fix it or or ensure that you kill off whatever interest there is in the game <laughs> I don't particularly want it to fail but it doesn't deserve to succeed does it and it's not going to regardless of what I do Yeah, exactly, for Figurio. So, Elliot is going for the fight, just because he's got a sneaky git, I think. Only one sneaky git, though. I think I would have fielded two sneaky git dirty players if I was going to fight this drive. I don't really like... I think Daka with one sneaky git. And only fight if you're fielding at least two. I mean, I'm losing all of the Blood Bowl viewers in the long run, Fault Force. That's inevitable. This is exactly what I'm telling you. This is why Elliot's not very happy today, and why I've not been very happy recently. Because it's over, isn't it? Blood Bowl streaming is over. It is dead. Five days of concede chicken. Flip me. It's a bit excessive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, for sure it all. I want to try Minecraft. I have not faulty. <laughs> Why not? Because you could be doing anything else, man. <laughs> like if you want to play Blood Bowl, then surely you should just concede and play more Blood Bowl. Somebody made a second account, didn't they, so they could carry on playing Blood Bowl while they were still in the Concede Chicken. <laughs> Alright, so the Orcs have piled in, as they should, uh, kind of should have done. Well, I mean, in my opinion, it's correct to pile in here. But, you know, who can say? The problem is, of course, they do give away hits. And they are Armour 9. When the game locks up driver and uh, whoever concedes loses, there's no other way to finish the game apart from somebody conceding. And such a game state can be forced at any time by any coach. <laughs> but like you know, usually it comes from like you know the many, many, many bugs. <laughs> Yes, Blood Bowl 3. Yeah. I mean, Infinite Fouling was really fun. Wow. Elliot has double won the pickup twice. <laughs> Outrageous. He's shaking his head. He looks absolutely bamboozled. The 
problem is Blood Bowl 2 is old fashioned now, isn't it? It looks old to watch. Feels real old to play, playing 13 year old rules. But Blood Bowl 1 was a bit terrible, honestly. Like Blood Bowl 2, if it had the if it had the upgrades for players when they leveled, would be completely better than Blood Bowl 1. Oh, the Dublay Skulls. Does he eat it? He's only got four, he's got to realise over time is somewhat likely. Of course, if he does stop Elliot this half, he just wins. So, you know, there's an argument for just using all his rerolls to just try and get this done. Yeah, the hat based progression, that's what I'm saying. If if Blood Bowl 2 had that it would be better in every way. I mean, did anyone play test it though, Jay Lee? That's the question. Maybe the play test was the games that the devs were forced to play in their in their league, right? But no, that was for Blood Bowl two, wasn't it? I think that was Blood Bowl two that they forced to play a league. They said they forced to play a league, but maybe maybe that's why they took out the uh, the all the uh, all the table all the league standings because they didn't want to be reminded who was bottom. <laughs> right, Elliot really needs to pick the ball up now. And I guess dodge all these guys off that are up here and make a pocket around here. I know the most basic thing imaginable is have the game not hurt your eyes to play, which I didn't even know that was a hurdle that had to be cleared until I played the ball three. Oh, he finally did it. Eliod. Kind of did want to do it first as well, because then he's got, like, you know, if any of these double one or whatever. He's got the dump off as an option. Instant one. Rustle him for the foul. Might not even be able to foul him here. He's got to protect the ball a bit, hasn't he? Not actually a pal. What frenzy. the power look a dog three players to make the ball safe you could probably just do it with two right and then get the foul in <laughs> yeah put him two back so he gets the he gets the foul in <laughs> scumbag Elliot <laughs> doesn't doesn't break AV and can still move him back which elf can get quite far 
Hmm, interesting. Yeah, to be fair, a lot of the things that are wrong with the game, you would have to know something about Blood Bowl to know, right? But the things that they've just got wrong are unbelievable. Does he? Elliot did, of course, give a bunch of randoms out. Everybody did. Everybody gave some randoms to their players to use their SPPs that were left over. A shit show of epic proportions is Blood Bowl 3. But uh, even with all of those things, as I say, all of the bugs and everything, none of it matters just because the game's so damn unenjoyable. He's going to serve if he can. Yeah, okay, that, that stops it more or less. I wonder if he can get these two and go through here. That would be pretty nice. Turn 12, he could just try and swing back over here. It's tricky though, interesting to see what he does. Yeah, some people can enjoy it, but Elliot and I can't. It's just, it's just hard to play, it's like it's a clunky mess. I really wouldn't care about you know, the quality of the games, all the bugs, everything like that. I genuinely wouldn't care about any of that if it was fun to play. But it isn't. It's hard work to play. Hitting out tackle? Oh, isn't friendly not tackle. Yep, it looks shit for Twitch. So that's the thing, I mean, like, you know, obviously, if it looked better for Twitch, and there was replays, it would be good enough for me personally, wouldn't it? Because then I could cast the cups, or whatever, just cast random games. So it would kind of be alright for me, if it looked alright and had replays, but it just looks so damn ugly. <laughs> Which is weird, because it's technically, it's technically superior to Blood Bowl 2, isn't it? But it looks worse. So weird.
zero that I intend to tell you. It's so weird, like everything's hyper, hyper crisp, isn't it? Like all this shit in the background, it's just hyper crisp, like it's foreground stuff. And like Elliot's turned the graphic settings down to make it easier to read. But if you don't do that, it's so dark as well. It's outrageously dark. Yeah, and Blood Bowl 2 did get lots of new people into Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl 3 <laughs> didn't fucking get anyone into Blood Bowl. It drove people away from Blood Bowl. They should indeed faulty. Yeah, Blood Bowl 2 it was a huge increase over Blood Bowl 1. So, you know, saying that, like, the market isn't out there for Blood Bowl 3 is... Who knows, right? Because if you'd looked at Blood Bowl 1, you'd say the market for Blood Bowl 2 wasn't out there. But there was, like, some market, I mean... Obviously not... Not like there would be for a popular game. But do you know what I mean? Like, it... it it, there was the possibility that it could have got twice as big as Blood Bowl 3, Blood Bowl 2, but not like this. Yeah, yep, Jerry, yep, that's pretty fun, isn't it? Hello, Ordant. Yeah, the player cards, it's like the insane contrast. I mean, keep saying the same things over and over again, but it's just true, isn't it? It's like, it's kind of hideous. He's got some good value out of this juggernaut, hasn't he, Elliot, to be fair? Yeah, like, like look how dark that purple is, like... <laughs> it's just weird, isn't it? Like, it's so dark and so bright at the same time. The pure white and then the super dark purple. It's just weird. Yeah, Jugs is very similar to Stand Firm. Jugs is a Minotaur silhouette and Stand Firm is an Orc silhouette. I mean, the, all the detail on the sideline, like, it doesn't matter to us, right? We would play in an empty field, but it does matter for it being a polished game, to be fair. Like, if all of this, if all of this wasn't there, you'd be, and it was just a big green field, you'd be like, oh, this is a bit of a joke. So you kind of do need that, and it's something to put in the trailers and stuff, like. And you can forgive Cyanide for thinking that's important when... You know, it's been important for Games Workshop, hasn't it? You know, having those having those stadiums, uh, well, the pitches as part of the boxes to sell the miniatures, and you know, like having the special rules and stuff, like that's that. As an outsider, you think that's a significant difference from CRP to Blood Bowl twenty twenty, right? Like, so you can totally understand them being like that. Yeah, camera goblin, yeah. Yeah, just the same. He doesn't he doesn't go and hit blitz this one. Eliod Eliod and I both expect him to blitz this one, but he didn't. Yeah, exactly. So I so I can forgive them for like, and obviously like, you know, 
of course nobody would say do that at the expense of that because nobody would expect it to be done at the expense of it would they everybody would expect everyone expects things to have functionality and presentation not one or the other so criticizing the fact that there's presentation because they skimmed on other things is a bit harsh he <laughs> expected neither but you know what i mean like from a video game that you're paying 60 pound for <laughs> You should. It's reasonable to expect both. Maybe that's maybe that's better to say. It's reasonable to expect both, right? <laughs> Next time I buy a car, I'm going to ask if the engine's included. And actually, this wasn't a sixty-pound game, but do you know what I mean. Like, in general, in general, when video games come out. You don't expect them to have to choose between functionality or presentation. You expect both. No, it's not particularly good. But, like, people's main criticism of the stadiums are, oh, look, the game's crap, and they've, they've spent all this time and money on the stadiums. And it's like, well, you know. Yeah, the, the wheels, crap, you yeah. know. I mean, that's not going to happen, though, is it, Faulty? And kind of nor should it, in a way. Yeah. It's better for the companies. So... They're not going to stop doing it, are they? Yeah, but consumers pay the money. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Hmm. It's the right thing for them to do, and if people accept it, then they're right to continue doing it. Yeah, he got in trouble, it passed, didn't he? But he's managed to negotiate it all quite well. It wasn't terrible from Krippy, he tried to, uh, tried to get some pressure on him that. Didn't do anything that you thought, oof, that was terrible. Just a good play from Eliod. No. That's uh that's raiding Eliod's chat. <laughs> raiding Eliod's VOD there, but there you go. Yeah, what have they even been doing here? Striking, yeah. Hello, not bad, thanks, not bad. Turning up at the same time. <laughs> Turning up at the same time in the uh, in the cast as the VOD. <laughs> what are the chances of that? That's crazy, isn't it? Synchronised raids, literally raided at the same time in both. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. And welcome, Electric Vision viewers. We <laughs> got more viewers. Woo! <laughs> Get wrecked, Elliot. <laughs> So, 
There's no orc. No, there's not orc. There's no troll on the orc team. And I don't think there's any goblins either. So. Unless there's a riot. Um, it'll be overtime. Which now is not sudden death. It is a full half. Yep, he really did try, Pogler, yep. I mean, I tried too, it's just that... <laughs> I met the wall of... Uh, I met the wall before he did, but I still tried. I, was, I did give it a chance, I tried. I really did try. I gave it a fair chance, it's just... It's what it is. it was a meltdown for Hibrio, he's just the same as me, he's, you know, he's he's sad about the fact how bad Blood Bowl 3 is and it's basically the death of uh, online streaming of Blood Bowl yeah, I've, I've been enjoying, I've been enjoying the, uh, the Blood Bowl 2 with the Irish, that has been fun, Era BB some, some poor guy uh, oh, I can't remember his name it was like Baza Bazzi or something. I can't remember his, the, the name of the guy, but uh, his first game was versus me, and his second game was versus Elliot. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it. I, you know, one game a week is is pretty good amount of Blood Bowl, to be honest. <laughs> Oof, big fat, big Kaz. Elliot's been using that juggernaut brilliantly, so uh, great foul for the uh, for the orcs. Oh, getting the cheeky stab! Lovely play from Elliot. I've got no idea, but uh, I know I've won two, and Elliot's won two, and we are playing each other in week four, so. And, and Elliot will beat me. <laughs> I also know that Elliot will beat me in um, in week four. <laughs> because he has war dancers with skills and a catcher with guard. And I have pretty much nothing. Did Elliot bring his crossbow? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, yes, Galentio, restreaming Elliot's VOD. So there you go. That's good point, or don't? Yeah, there is the chance of misclicking. If it's not stealing, everybody agreed to be restreamed for the YouTubes um, in the uh, in the channel in the Discord. So there you go. Oh my God! Yeah, I didn't do it in the first game, though, do I? But that's the thing. In the first game, I I went for the three 0 which was stupid, right? I should have just gone for the completions in the first game. But I thought I can go for three nil, or maybe even four nil. I was thinking, because I got the ball, I got the ball uh, so easily, and like I know, I know he fumbled the ball, like he fumbled the pick up the first one, but like I, I nearly got the ball again in the first half, so I was nearly two nil up at the end of the first half. So I thought, you know, I've got a good chance of going three nil up here, and I should have just, I should have just dackered and got, got a, uh, should just dackered and got completions. Elliot got five completions in his first game. <laughs> So, you know, I should have done that. But I'll do it in future. Daka, daka, daka. <laughs> Yak agreed for them. That's true, Agrelius, but still. Not my, not my thing. I'm playing Dark Elves, or don't, in Era BB. Um, mostly for mental health, right? I think to win the competition, I think Chaos Dwarves would be the best. Or... You know, possibly Wood Elves, but I think Chorfs would be the best, probably. 
and uh, maybe Necro, right? Because Necro match up quite well versus the Elves and quite well versus Chorfs. And you know, Dark Elves and Wood Elves are both pretty strong. And Dwarves are still really strong, right? Uh, the uh, Chaos don't come online reliably. So I think those five are the best teams. Dark Elves, Wood Elves, Dwarves, Chaos Dwarves, and Necromantic. Um, and out of all of those, Dwarves are probably the most consistent. But they're also like at the mercy of the dice more than like you you can't outplay people consistently right with dwarves they are somewhat at the mercy of the dice um, whereas delves you can play better than people which is nice and then all of the other teams uh, you know especially like you know chorfs like if a bull centaur dies you just feel so bad right like things like that or a wolf dies for your necro team you just feels so bad so I just went with a. Uh, I just went with a strong and st strong and stable that was less boring than dwarves. <laughs> less boring than dwarves. I mean, dwarves would have been fine, and, and especially with Elliot using wood elves. <laughs> especially with Elliot using wood elves, I could have uh, I could have taken dwarves to uh, screw him a bit, but didn't. Here we go. Elliot won the toss, hovered over kick, but chose receive. Well done. No, it's not sweaty, Jack Bull. Sweaty would have been Chorfs. I'm pretty sure Chorfs would have been the best one to uh, to win with. So there you go. Anyway, uh, that obviously that was kind of pointless, right? Krippy wasn't a score one turn. Uh, didn't get the riot. So now... Um, Elliot has the ball. Will he dacker this time? Of course, it is a full half. It's no longer uh, sudden death. So obviously, if this was sudden death, he might be tempted into bulldoze his way through, especially with uh, being res. Um, due to the limitations of the competition, these are just friendlies, so are res. So the fact that it's res... You know, you could probably just bulldoze through here and get it done. But, because it is a full half, he's going to have to stall it out. Mike Dacker. Yeah, the secondary chat is pretty confusing, that's true. Not much I can do about that, unfortunately. I don't think Eliod has a movement elf. Yeah, Nick has has one. Nick has a strength up and stuff as well. Nick has more stats than Eliod. Um, but Elliot has more sneaky get dirty players, I think. <laughs> Got three sneaky get dirty players as, as Elliot. Which, if he plays, you know, if he wins this and the next one, and if Nick wins his quarter final and gets the final, you know, they, they, they could, it could potentially be an Elliot Gadenic final. And if it is, um, Elliot would have the sneaky get dirty player advantage. Which, you know, maybe maybe would mean he's got the better team. <laughs> but yeah, the, the the one turn is definitely advantage Nick for sure. <laughs> I just want him to come back. That was brilliant, Elliot's Elliot's stream after Nick left. <laughs> I just want him to come back. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, Elliot's got the highest TV team, I think, in the whole thing. It's a hell of a team. Millions and millions of skill. Like, look at his bench. Like, <laughs> his bench is ridiculous. He's he's had, he's had, this frenzy, guy. Cast. He's had the witch elf cast, and he's still benching two full dirty players, sneaky git, linos. You know, full sixteen players. Hello, Spirit Olog. Sadly, your game has not been streamed. Uh, yes, uh, you know that, of course. I know because Yak. Yak told me, he said. Um, yes, unfortunately, Spirit Olog, not an affiliate. So give Spirit Olog a follow if, uh, if you haven't. 
there you go. Um, so unfortunately, his VOD is gone. Um, so we won't get to see that. Spirit Orlog had a ridiculous Nurgle team. Um, and did win his first round match. I can exclusively reveal. <laughs> Well, not really exclusive, <laughs> but there you go. Um, can't remember who it was. Can't remember who it was against the first round match, but whoever it was. So there you go. Um, glorious highlight of the game versus Nolly. Um, yes, because it, that's okay. That's not a spoiler. That we know that that match is happening. We just don't know the result yet. <laughs> You'll get to see the Nurgle team soon. Um, I think that's the next match, actually. I think that's the next match because I think... I think the winner of that plays the winner of this. Yeah, that's correct. So even though that was the last game played, I was going to do it, like, you know, in order of the draw, right? So the winner of Elliot versus Krupi plays the winner of Spirit or Log versus Nolly. So... Do an Elliot, the Elliot game now, and then we'll do the Spirit or Log game next. And then tomorrow, we'll do Gadenic versus Exasperation, and Hiramizeo versus Andri. And then we will know the semi final lineup that nobody knows yet. <laughs> So this is a bit of a this is a bit of a half dacker, isn't it, or a yakker? Which I guess this is kind of a bit more going to be a bit more of a thing if you get a monster team, just because you can foul with your dirty player sneaky kit. <laughs> you really don't want to give up. You don't want to give up your dirty player sneaky kit fouling. That's the that's the problem with a dacker. The only problem with a DACA. The only problem with a DACA is it stops your dirty player sneaky get. <laughs> Classic. Classic yak, yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't really want to link the website in the... Uh in the descriptions of the videos because it's like I don't know I could put like spoilers you can check out everything here maybe yeah. what can you do This is pretty tricky for Krupi. Obviously, he's got the. I mean, he's just got to. I think he's just got to try and get out nil nil, right? I don't think he can try and turn over. If he tries to turn over, he just loses. So, he has to like just try and defend his hardest, and hopefully, he can get to a fifty fifty coin toss to win. <laughs> I mean, sneaky gear is. Is pretty low on the power level compared to that, but it's it's very high compared to everything else in Blood Bowl right now. There is no Kekwudi now. There is no Kekwudi. It is just a straight roll off. It was not actually a straight roll off. People roll off five times to to recreate the drama of a of a soccer penalty shootout, where there are of course five penalties. 
Yeah, the camera view is is Elliot's thing. I might use it for casting, honestly. Like if you know when casting, if casting becomes a thing, and if I choose to do it, which isn't necessarily a a uh, a given. But if if all of those things happen, this might be the the camera view for casting, honestly, because you can gives you a good view of the pitch, doesn't it? Maybe I could be like yak cam spin around and everything. Do all sorts of camera movements, who knows. But this this looks like sports on TV, doesn't it? That's the that's the good thing about the side on view. Every every T V sports has has this kind of view, doesn't it? Football and soccer. Tennis doesn't, no, true. Alright. Most team sports have this kind of view. <laughs> Snooker doesn't either. But most team sports have the side to side view like this. Kabaddi had this view, didn't it? I mean, Darts doesn't have any kind of view, does it? Neither does Golf. Yeah, baseball and cricket, they, I mean, they're unique, aren't they? But... Rugby, football, soccer, all the games that are vaguely like Blood Bowl have this view. So, fuck off. <laughs> chat wankers. <laughs> Poor, pretty rowdy chat. Someone ban Dimmy. Ban, ban Dimmy. Poor. Fucking <laughs> 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 love Elliot. That is simply not true. The data does mm, not yeah. support your So yeah, that was a good assertion. pullback. Yeah, that was. I mean, it was a good, kind of pretty good defence by Crippy, right? And and then good response from Elliot. Obviously, you know, he's in no rush to score uh, with having with having to stall it out. <laughs> Team bowling. <laughs> oh god. The luge doesn't have this view. <laughs> F one doesn't have this view, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes teams played on a pitch like this like football soccer rugby ice hockey have this kind of view right i mean ice hockey might not have never watched it but i imagine it should do if it glorious. doesn't it's wrong no i won't <laughs> give in until i'm victorious <laughs> and i will defend kabaddi does will have this view i thought it did i thought it did Thank you very much, Dirty Raxel, staying fantastic for 13 glorious months. Oh yeah. Over a year, also over three who Beaver pregnancies. Everything else doesn't matter anyways. That seems just such a weird thing. Everyone who watches ice hockey want, likes the fights. And it's like, if you want to watch a fight, why not watch people who can fight? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like... Watch boxing or UFC or kickboxing or something. Hey, 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 very good, lad. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think Elliot's zoomed out a bit too far now, right? But I think there's a there's a call for something like this. Oh. 
I mean, ice hockey definitely does have rules. <laughs> Hold on. It definitely does have rules. You'll be able to find the rules of ice hockey fights somewhere. It definitely does on the fights. Because it, it there's like the legal side of it, right? Of them getting done for assault. So there's like, there'll definitely be rules on it. <laughs> So what's Elliot doing? Bit of a dacker here. So Kruppi hasn't put too much pressure on. Because again, he just can't afford the elves to get in behind him, can he? Kabaddi is a, is a classic British pastime. <laughs> um... I don't know, I think it was an Indian, an Indian game. And it's like British Bulldog, and it was it was on like Channel Four when I was a kid, and uh, and they all have to shout Kabaddi 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 as they as they run from one side to the other. Yeah, Channel Four. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Like everybody watched it, absolutely everybody watched it. So big foul now. This is a brilliant thing about the half dacker, isn't it? Oh. He got sent off. Diced. Diced. Eliard was diced. Yep. Nice raid for Elliot there. <laughs> so how many places have you got now? Three, six. Eight? Nine? Nine players? Who's got nine players, Elliot? Conkers have a side here. Flip me. Hmm. I did play a bit of Conkers, yes. Actually, it did something really chitty, and it? it didn't even work. You know, like, I was like, I can't remember what it was. You know, like how there was always like, what was the truth bomb? I didn't even see it. Flip me. Um, there was something like you know, if you uh, if you put them in the freezer or something, they were stronger or something like that. Our chat are all wankers. It's true. Isn't it? <laughs> there was like something like you could put them in the freezer or like you know, put cook them or like there was something you could do to them to um varnish them there was there was something yeah there was something that you could do i can't remember what it was but um i did it and it didn't even work i was very sad <laughs> drill them out and pour concrete in i mean that would definitely work wouldn't it <laughs> Conkers are, uh, are like, I mean, I, I don't know what they are. What are they? Are these like seeds to a plant or something? <laughs> like trees. You have like, they come off trees and you pick them up and you, you like, you, you whack other people's conkers with them. <laughs> what is it? Is it like a seed? It's a nut. That's a nut. I don't know what it is, man. Are nuts seeds? On nuts seeds. Yes, they are. No, thanks. <laughs> um, if you defend, then it's just a straight roll off. There's no um, 
there's no equity it's just a straight dice off so this is pretty pretty interesting isn't it he does have two pluses out all across the board here though they can they can all two plus out and by the motioning whoop, it looks like he might be going this way it looks like this side is a bit weaker right Krupi has one two three four five six seven eight players on this side. well no three in the middle line I guess so four over there and three over here. So he's a bit, you know, he's a, he's a bit weaker this side. And Elliot can blitz one and block the other. Are all seeds nuts? Are all nuts seeds? Hmm. No fault for there wasn't that. Yeah, so like, <laughs> yeah, so you hit, you like have like you, you like, you have them like with strings somehow, and you, you hit, like it's so long since I did it, I can't remember how you even did it. Did you drill them? A brattle, and then put the string through them, and then you would whack the other person's nuts. But. Keeping them for a year. Yeah, I kept them for a year. I kept them for a year. That, that's what I did. That's what I did. I kept them for a year. Yeah. And it, it wasn't even better. The hardest conkers usually win. So Elliot moved over a little bit. Completely stopped paying attention to the match here. This is just like <laughs> this is just like watching a Blood Bowl three stream. Um, <laughs> just reading chat and talking shit is uh, is usually what I do in Blood Bowl streams these days. Can't watch the actual matches, but I shall try my best to watch the match. bracketing this guy but it's still just a 3-2 out if he wants isn't it, you can try that later on So does Eliod try and push through here? Oh, but he's got the defensive there. Will Eliod spot the defensive player? That makes it not so easy to go through there. He's only got four turns left. He could try the swing back. Knockdown is pretty nice for him, isn't it? With that knockdown, he might try the swing back now. And also, there's three players up here that he could try and leave behind a little bit. Yeah, lots of dodge. Yeah, yeah, they've got the orcs have got lots of dodge. Um, the elves. I thought you'd just thought the elves were the <laughs> were the were the, the orcs. I was I was a bit bamboozled. And three, four, five sidestep for the elves. But yeah, the orcs have got a fair amount of dodge. Ah, fair enough. But then, you know, then I can show things right that I'm talking about with a mouse. But yeah, I didn't think of that darkening the things. Whoops, never mind. I'll bear that in mind. I shall only try and indicate things when it's crucial. Thank you, Faulty. That's a three plus. I mean, you don't do that first, Eliod. 
Eliod just standing them up. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, replay is obviously like a million times better because you can. Uh, <laughs> you can actually, you know, do whatever you want, can't you? the push was that a dauntless player that's how he got the one day This is ooh, he's running out of time, but he's got he's got plenty of time bank. He uses a reroll. And doesn't need another one. And then this guy can try and dodge through, right? Maybe, maybe not, maybe that guy dodges around and he just two days. I think he tries to dodge around with it. This makes a lot of sense. I would even think about double GFing with him, honestly. Make this full screen. Would be pretty good, but I mean, I guess it's unnecessary. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? The multiple rerolls. Also, um, in his first match, Elliot used the using the jumping. Use the jumping uh, mechanic to uh, have a like couple of four pluses at a ball sack which was pretty cool you know something you would never have even been able to dream of doing in the old rules so there, there will be some kind of things like that in the new rules sometimes um yes yeah, i'll show you i'll show you the i'll show well if you know just the one just the ones on the roadmap if you don't know the roadmap i'll show you the roadmap after this match uh, but um no we don't know anything Apart from what's on the road now. The jump does have TZ modifiers. It's the most of either the one you're leaping. You take the highest number of tackle zones from where, the, from where you're leaping from and where you're leaping to. So if you're in like two tackle zones and you're leaping to one, you still take a minus two. If you're leaping from one into two, you take a minus two. So, you know, it's... It's often going to be a 3 plus for L's. Like, it's always going to be at least a 3 plus for L's because there's always going to be a tackle zone there. Almost certainly. What? Well, he didn't re roll that. Oh no, he, he just double wand it. Double wand it. Wow. Double wand the GFI. And, well, it's not over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> there could be a riot. But barring a riot, it's over. <laughs> it's almost certainly over, isn't it? Look a dog, Elliot. Interesting that he blitzed that way instead of uh, up on the other one. I guess it doesn't matter as long as he knows where he's going to get to. It's not golden goal, no. It is uh, the keep playing for the full half. Dirty Raxo. Uh, overtime has been changed in the latest edition of the rules. Otherwise, Elliot would have scored already as well. That's the uh, that's the other giveaway <laughs> that Elliot would have already scored. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's kind of tough to remember. Like I literally took the the first time I played. Well, no, the first time I watched Overtime in Blood Bowl three, I like messaged both people so they'd know they were playing, and I explained it all to chat so they'd all know. And then as I'm commentating, I'm like. Ooh, he should have got the gut run at range so he can score next turn. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Literally just forgot instantly. Pretty funny. Um, this is this is hundred percent effort. He needs all of his players to attempt the uh, riot two turn if he gets a riot. 
Like he wasn't going to get back and pressure the score there. Yeah, the playoffs are res indeed. Yeah, I mean, he's still got turn 24 though, Dirty Raxo. Because it was Eliod's reception. That is 2020 OT rules, yep. Elliot just did wrong chevrons then for no apparent reason. I don't know why he did wrong chevrons. <laughs> but he did. And yeah, and then rather than like the re dice off plus rerolls like how it is in Blood Bowl 2, it is just you, ro you just dice off completely equally. Cyanide would never implement rules that differ from 2020 rules yet. I mean, apart from all of the ones that do. Correct. <laughs> it is so weird that they said, you know, that they, they had to recreate the rules 100% and then not even close to recreating the rules to 100%. But hey... Who can say if they're right or wrong? I mean, it's just the riot. There's, there's no way he's going to one turn here, right? Three side steppers on the LOS, just to make sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's a good idea, honestly. I think I'd have rather had the side steppers stopping the two turn, um, because he could have had the side step. Like he's got four side step rights, so he could have it here. Here, here, and here, and then uh, there is a riot. Well, timeout now, as it's called. So there is a two-turn chance for Crippy. Naf generally doesn't do overtime. Um, they sometimes have overtime on the final table in the final round. But uh, and actually, he's gone for the side stepper on the on the sideline. Does the other side? I don't think the other sideline's got a side stepper. So he just. He just literally chose to attack the sidestepper when he could have gone the other side. Hopefully Eliod will zoom out and show us, but um, I'm pretty sure he just attacked the sidestepper instead of the non side. Oh, maybe it's stand firm. Show us the whole pitch, Eliod. <laughs> show us the whole pitch, Eliod. It is stand firm, yeah, okay. So we had stand firm one side and sidestep the other. So he did have the he did have the, the sides defended and one of the centre ways defended. Yes or don't yeah. <laughs> you can watch the VOD of the uh, Artemis one and, and you can see how horrendous it is. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be on uh, YouTube tonight at like uh, in a, in what three and a half hours, and it's uh, it's absolutely horrific. I think Artemis might be an insane person. <laughs> <laughs> Just based on the camera movements alone. <laughs> I realized. I realized that you know. Some people have, you know, opinions about art, but, um, yeah. Can he get the ball? He can, yeah, he'll, he'll probably have a little go at the end. Also, that's shadowing, isn't it, there, which is pretty cool. I think he should go at the end, right? Oh, is he going to put someone else in at the end? Only got one reroll left. You're going for the surf is pretty obvious and can take the power. He's not in range, so he just needs to run away. And then now at the end of the turn he can go and try and pick it up. He's not going to try and pick it up. I guess if he picked it up and failed, the other one could have caught it. But not that it matters because it was over. It was actually over, wasn't it? It was actually over once once he uh, took care of the only the only scoring threat. It was over. Say it's over. Um, right there you go. 
Congratulations, Elliot. Commiserations, Krupi. Um, obviously, thanks to Elliot for the restream. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.